welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, guys, that's your fan favorite dance today, the most amazing variety. Today we are back. The raid is still on the menu, and guess what else we got on the menu as well? Well, you don't have to guess. Just go ahead, look in the inventory, and see the magical disc of floppiness that will be our Lord and Savior that will bring us towards salvation, towards the C4 that we need to break through this stone base we got lined up and of course i mean no point in just finishing the raid that we got today we're gonna be whipping out another raid on top of that as well so i hope you guys are excited for today's episode i cannot wait to start hopping into it in you but in the meantime i see you hope you guys are having an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day a fan freaking fantastic sunday hopefully you're spending it lazily that's what sundays are for they're for being lazy butts and my butt is rather lazy on sundays i tell you what lads but there's also a couple of other things that i want to i want to show you guys something really really cool at some point Ooh, well 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 when in rome we might want to go and make a quick pit stop by the chopper but then i'm thinking we go home drop off our goods we'll head out over finish the raid and i also do want to make a pit stop by there for a very very specific reason there are some things that i wanted to go ahead and get to chatting about but in the meantime boom i wanted to highlight and showcase this this is something that we don't necessarily do a lot but it's something that i do want to start doing more because i just kind of scroll through the comments like i always do and i found this really awesome one and i'm like hold up i can relate to this especially with all the base struggles and uh all of the rating changes that have come lately but anyways there's a comment from lord I'm probably gonna butcher this sesh homaru saying what update i'd love is being about to use a pickaxe on stone walls if not iron steel maybe it takes longer and makes slightly more noise just in case you don't have enough c4 i would actually love to see something like this but this got me thinking okay not necessarily what the comment said but this comment definitely inspired my line of thought because as you know currently there are well for the most part there are two types of tiers there is the first tier of things to break into things and then the second tier the iron hatchet and the iron pickaxe but there is no such thing as a steel hatchet no such a thing as a steel pickaxe so i thought maybe especially with kafir's increased emphasis if they aren't going to give us more c4 that's all fine and dandy i mean maybe c4 can be the rarer and better material but wouldn't it be awesome if they actually incorporate something i get that lot of your toxic abomination don't you dare get to wailing on me but if they incorporate a new tier of weapons for example that i mean maybe won't be as effective as c4 c4 can also blow up things on the other sides of walls that's pretty obvious and plus plus yes it's not an infected great bless up for that hello pupper how are you doing what do we have hidden within here i'll go ahead and continue my train of thought in a sec right now this is the moment of freaking truth baby how much c4 we going home with and how badly we'll be able to to do this raid pretty well i must say we got an engine part a ton Ooh, actually we got a lot of copper and steel here between the 10 copper oh we got the electronic circuit little engine part three steel plates the two copper bars our stores and our stockpiles of all these things will continue going up especially that thing because we kind of did use an electronic circuit back at uh what you call back at home actually a couple of them to try and upgrade our defenses but i'm very excited to see if there's a revenge raid waiting us when we get back home and see what happens to the defenses as well i hope i had enough fuel to make them last but let's just take all that we can for now we will actually goodbye to band-aid i'll use you really quickly Yeet. me some aluminum and we do have collection of 47 as well that we could grab Oh, well, here's another thing, too. We do have a free inventory slot there, so I guess this should kind of expedite the process a little bit because we should be able to... Um, I'm just taking Kalashnikov. I'll come back for the rest of you, no worries. And we are going to make a pit stop by the chopper event as well because it's about to despawn anyways. But back to my line of thinking, what I would seriously love to... Ooh, can I just put stuff into here? Hey, I can't put stuff into here. Okay, that's actually marvelous, but we do... Uh, I'll go back and check, maybe grab a couple things. Worst case, we'll ditch them at the chopper event, even though that's kind of... Ah, that is a worst case because the chopper event is about to despawn we can't come back for him uh, i'm leaving these in inventory slots open so we can grab stuff from the chopper event this is this location is still gonna be around for like 12 hours i'm not too worried about it going there so let's get to drive but anyways yeah i think a new weapon system like that would actually not a new weapon system but a new tier and i mean obviously they could make it a little bit expensive to actually match whatever value it gets you in terms of breaking things but i'm not saying you should be able to craft up like what i'm saying what i'd love to see actually is a steel pickaxe 
become very, very valuable, especially because here's another thing too. Since 1.9 is coming, and as you know, ooh, it's this chopper event. 1.9 is probably, I mean, it's still probably a couple weeks, maybe a couple months away, just kind of given the update schedule and how it always goes. But just knowing that, oh, we'll get the hell out of here, survivors. Don't you dare wail on me with the freaking sledgehammer. You ain't taking me down, buddy boy. I'm sorry to say, I'm taking y'all down and I'm looting. Ooh, all that juiciness. Hello, hello. Good morning to you. Choppers are definitely number one priority here for the loot. But uh, since that ATV area is going to be coming, I'm guessing they might introduce a new tier of things to chop down with because we needed iron hatchet to chop down oak and iron pickaxes to get uh, the steel resources. Do we need iron as well? We might have needed iron for uh, what you call though aluminum as well but we definitely need it for steel but what if the next tier of resources that there are which is going to be for example titanium bars i'm pretty sure and then on the other side of things the ash planks i'm just trying to find something here that requires ash planks really quickly there we go and ash planks things that most likely the swamp biome will be adding to us it kind of makes sense for them to add Ooh, that's a lot of that's a lot of that and are these boots better than mine uh, actually very slightly better so it, it makes sense for them to kind of add another tier to do the collecting over in the swamp so oh what do good i'll take that thank you thank you to do the collecting over in the new swamp zone but i i don't know man it'd be really awesome if they had a double purpose because ooh, those are some nice pants but not nice now if they had a double purpose because i mean just with stone bases doesn't it make sense to maybe use a pickaxe of some kind on a stone well maybe you need like you need to craft up like a steel pickaxe or maybe two steel pickaxes even to totally break down a wall i don't know all i'm saying is hopefully dude oh my god look at how clustered these three events are it's actually kind of crazy this will become like super just super thick three c's minimum over there but that'd be really awesome to see a new tier incorporated maybe having steel pickaxes i mean they brought they obviously that have to balance it that have to make it through the right amount of steel to make it potentially worth breaking through a wall but i'd love to see something like that you know where we can craft steel pickaxes and they can be used to break down level three walls and i mean might as well at that point also introduce the steel cutter so at least steel uh portions of bases can be broken into as well i know that affects me as well but listen if it advances the game and moves it forward and also means that i can break through steel bases i'm more than willing to sacrifice my own goods because guess what that means better videos and more favorite contesticness for the all of us but i'm gonna go ahead and shout down really quickly put this stuff away and properly suit ourselves up for the raid that is to come and all right our inventory is looking up pretty Ooh, actually we do still have this stuff in the chopper i think we gotta shuffle around and with the last of these ak's being put away into safety we are looking prepared also i don't know if the turrets helped at all i mean i think they are offline over here in our new defense system but we haven't been raided on the brighter side and i, I don't know did we lose a skull actually is that is oh no we're slid full skulls so there might very well be a revenge raid cooking on up for us. But as you guys can see from our inventory, we are ready as soon as we release the puppy. Hello, Piper. Welcome to my uh, pen of puppies or something. But we are in a pristine position to begin the capitalization of breaking into this dude's base and hopefully finding some juiciness on the other side. I know that we're bringing two C4. Better safe than sorry. And if we blow through all our C4, I will be a little bit salty. But again, back on that topic of those, uh, what you call steel resources and stuff. I just think it'd be awesome. Who knows how much it'd take? Because like, I mean, once you get to the iron edge, it takes like five iron bars. So I, I don't want to say five steel because that seems like a lot, but if they have the ability to break down stone walls, maybe? I don't know. They have to find a pretty nice kind of mix, but I, I think that that would be an amazing idea to incorporate, and it would give people another avenue of getting these stone bases, especially since so many people are coming across them that don't necessarily have C4. I think it would make the whole ton of the community happy and it kind of diversify the tier system and potentially prepare us for that 1.9 swamp zone. So but go ahead and let me know what you guys think in that comment section down below regarding my idea, regarding an idea I saw in the comments that I was inspired by. I'd love to hear your guys' own thoughts, potentially your guys' own original ideas regarding all that in that comment section down below. And remember the comments, but you're third of the way. It's the week of 25 dollar at two slash play store gift card giveaway. All you gotta do as well as make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe that you win on today's video. I'll go ahead and turn on every single last year video was set rules are pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment for a random video and there are only six chests within here so if these are garbage and kafir i'm gonna be salty that you gave me a stone base 
with garbage in it. And this is why I think they do need another system of collecting things. Because if it's just like, I mean, I don't, I don't mind that there's like poopier loot on the other side. But at the very least, don't force me to use my C4 if there's going to be poopy loot. Now, I don't know that there's poopy loot yet. I'm just saying there's only six chests. It doesn't look super promising quite yet. But hey, all right, looks, it can be deceiving. We never know what could lie within these confines. But like I said, let me know. And then we'll set it our pick right up video from the past we pick right up conference right up videos that will be the winner and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same day as well so stick around with that notification bell hit stay up to date with all the last day on earth goodness as soon as we get any new infos coming out the latest of update gameplay as soon as those are available as well and of course other dope survival games all along the way including prey day survival expect some more of that today prey day mm, i'm having a blast with that so far and hopefully you guys do enjoy it as well and so far i am not enjoying this raid however this raid is really really not coming out on top for us and this is why i'm scared of using c4 even though usually back in back before this whole raiding fiasco started with update 1.6 slash 1.7 because i think 1.7 tried to fix it and it fixed it a little bit but it's still definitely not as juice delicious as it was before but hey we got an electronic circuit believe we get those things so often that i'm not really sure they're super valuable anymore i know the raiders still value them highly i just don't like i just don't know if they themselves are as valuable as they used to be now don't get me wrong i'm not gonna be bummed about the fact we got one but i'm just saying like we've we that would have been a little bit more hype before this update but still it still it still is what it is and it is pretty freaking dope but yeah i i don't know i that's why i said i can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts maybe you guys have more balanced and better ideas for a new potential way of doing this but i seriously think adding a third tier of items and then i mean you could have the hatchet the hatchet wouldn't even be able to break into this or maybe it would i don't know but it makes sense for a pickaxe to be able to chip away at this maybe it won't be the most effective thing maybe it takes two steel pickaxes some sort of balance like that but if they do incorporate another way that isn't c4 but that is still relatively hard to get i i would love that i don't know but with all of that said throughout we have begun this raid and during this raid well just like i was saying even stone walls back in the day stone walls were a promising sign of great loot and riches hidden within in this latest update they're not a sign of anything they're just a sign that you got to use c4 which again circles back to my thought listen i don't mind these types of bases but you got to make c4 and or steel pickaxes you know you just got to make them more valuable because if people this is this is one of the raids too that we spent our time questing for that we spent our well i mean you can spend your time questing for it or you can of course make your wallet cry a lot of tears of walletness it just sucks that you know back in the day when you used to raid it used to be like you pretty much get pretty good loot regardless of the raid but now i don't know man raids they've just been less lucrative like i'm saying it could just be unlucky luck for me i've heard some pretty positive things from you guys in that comment section down below as well thank you for keeping me in the loop with kind of just the general sentiment and it gives and that's why I, that's why i love reading guys' comments it does give us and i i hope you guys like reading through the comments as well because it seriously gives us a great sentiment because we have such a large sample size it gives us a good idea of just relatively what's going on if maybe there's just bad luck going on or if a lot of people are experiencing the same thing and there is some sort of a trend there is something going on you know what i mean hopefully you do but what i know is that we gotta go and put this stuff away i might as well put the c4 away although i don't think they'd count that and and i mean outside of these two things this was actually our revenge raid was better than this i legitimately think our revenge raids are consistently better than the raids we go out on which is again why hopefully i you know what you know mm, I wish we didn't have this stupid thing right here. This thing is just, ah, can I disable perks? Can Phantom Plus let me disable perks? I don't want Camouflage Master on. Can I do the opposite? Can I make my base 10 times more likely? To be raided i would honestly i would love that kefir so please make this happen you know what else i'd love any general okay hold on we got to get some oh no we don't have any hydration do you my friend have I, we don't have our usual water bottles por favor do you have any hydration anywhere because if not if you don't even have hydrate like dude you you gotta have some hydration somewhere right okay uh, he does have a beer all right double whammy double whammy we get to spread some vitamin p for this kind fellow for providing us a beer and uh it barely gave us anything unfortunately <laughs> dang it that's the thing beer barely hydrates you and it just makes you smell it it makes you stink a little boy 
But I mean, might as well just get to collecting whatever we can. I mean, you guys keep telling me to get more ATV wheels. Listen, my my response to this is just they take up. I don't like getting ATV wheels or even the transmitters just because they take up a lot of room. And right now I am 100% dedicated to uh, scrapping my electronics up to level 50 and then scrapping all my phone stockpiles to get a bejesus ton of uh, electronic circuits so these things are just going to be taking up inventory room for a while but i suppose if there's nothing better they do have the opportunity of being scrapped into steel and eventually kind of in a similar fashion what we're doing with our phones if we save this for when our whatever category this is scrapping level is 50 we pretty much have a pretty great shot at steel so i mean it, it is an investment it just i don't like this type of item because it does not stack if it's stacked oh boy we'd be okay i'm just gonna pick up this rock at least it didn't add any noise but if it did stack oh nelly it'd be an entirely different story uh speaking of nellies and stories i i just really dude i, I guess we could uh, here's another thing we're not breaking through any of his workbenches he doesn't ah i wish he had an iron working bench dude that's usually a good sign but he doesn't even have anything chilling in there i don't really like i'm not gonna break through the stone maybe i break through that but again i don't have a lot of hope for it and i don't want to waste my vss on this next wave but I'm gonna waste my VSS on this next wave in exchange for one iron ingot. Eat death, I need this iron ingot in my life. It is my soul. And I will not let you have me soul. I will not, oh God, okay, dear God. Well, we gotta get to chopping. Get chopped, boy. That's right, no longer do we just break down walls with these things. Nope, we wail on our enemies as well. I, I guess we'll grab the whisk. Like, there's literally just... Uh, I, uh, we could grab a little bit more wood there. There's not even a stack of stone for us. Just a little bit more tuck tape, too. Might as well eat some of that. Actually, yo, yo, yo. A good... Uh, that is one phone. We have a lot of wrenches back at home. Goodbye, wrenches. Sorry, guys. Uh, but those things are actually good because we need those to feed our puppers to have them come out to play. And I'm continuing. I mean, I'm still continuing to try to stockpile that to the max of my ability. But all right. That does it for this raid. But that is another raid on the horizon we still have one c4 at our disposal so i am confident that it will be good but just ever since this last update man i i'm i think i might need to change my strategy because i don't want to break into every stone base there is because like before dude if there's a stone base regardless of the circumstances i'd break into it because every time buying that stone there was goodies we're just not getting goodies right now man and it's ah I don't know it just makes me not want to use my c4 at every single shop because we're getting these stone bases a lot more but they're not as often having that good stuff behind them so i, I want to prioritize the c4 while we can since we can only get one floppy disk and one red ticket crate so we can get a max of three c4 every two days if all goes well and ooh, we gotta bribe these guys really quickly but yeah that's the thing that's why i'm saying i really hope that they do add a more system because if stone bases are more prevalent you know before like the amount of c4 we're getting does not change it's still limited by the same thing but if we keep on getting more and more stone bases i it makes sense from a balance standpoint at least in my eyes but that's what i've been preaching Ooh, okay so you like that Ooh, all right yo 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 i'll give you guys a little bit of that you like one is this a joke fine have two there you go not bad you can do what you want well uh, you do what you want there too over there with your whiskey have fun there pal we're gonna call you back here in just a gif we do need some reinforcements coming from you and remember that thing at the wall that i said i want to check out i think we might check that out next time because these raids are being a bit more where are the raiders oh what the i definitely just scrolled past that they were not there get out of here with this shenanigans raiders uh let's see what type of quests they have lined up for us and from there hopefully it will lead to a good thing, yeah? I mean, I could craft up some more. Ah, eh, eh, we might need to. Oh, dear God, we're dying of dehydration. Oh, now you show up after I start dying from a lack of water in my body that is like 70% water. You know, I feel like your body would just start recycling some of that water, but I guess, I guess our body likes to litter or whatever. Well, we do poop too, so <laughs> littering is in our bodies, in our body's blood. Um... None of these things are things that I want to do right now because I do want to action pack this episode with another raid, especially because the first raid was kind of left over from the last raid, and I would love to kill the blind one, but we can't even if we wanted to. Still a little bit of a cool down over on the bunker, but they have allowed us. They've given us their blessing. They've given us the location of where we need to go, 
And what that means is that I just got to go ahead and shift around as the inventory a little bit. Maybe add an iron hatchet or two. Definitely add in the level one hatchets in. We'll be ready and we're in to go on some adventure. And with the last of our goods about to be put away for the time being. And we did scoop on up one hatchet for ourselves. We just got to go and get the proper tools for the shenanigans. I mean, the proper tools that we will hold in our hands for the shenanigans that are to entail. And mmm. These are looking rather proper, if you ask me. Question is, will we finally have to use all of them? Or will it be yet another raid that slaps us in the face with the hand of slap appointment? Yes, that is right. The slap and the disappointment have merged into one. It's truly horrifying when you think about it. Come on through and give me them last of two. And oh, we got to go and grab that wood and stone real quick. And with a pile of those each and with some level one hatchets being introduced to our inventory, will the game finally have the mercy to give us a raid that truly has some great treasures hidden within. Maybe, man, we've been through a bit of a dry spell, so I'm just saying. And the system has had a couple more days to continuously continue removing some of those bases that are quote unquote unraidable, whether that be they are literally unraidable from steel walls or they have so many stone walls, you can't get to the loot without making too much noise. You know, some of those types of bases hopefully will be blessed with uh, not, ooh, this guy's got a name. He's got a name, Danver. Oh my God, it's, I think it's, you know what I think it is? I think it's a fella that goes by the name of Dan that lives in Denver, all right? This is gonna be some next level stuff. I also think that he was born, uh, he was born in the fourth month on the 25th day in 2018. Or maybe that's just the day he made his account. I don't know, because that is a suspiciously, suspicious sequence of numbers. It's suspiciously suspicious, I know. <laughs> Speaking of that, ooh, I totally forgot about numbers and the bunker code of boat today as you got, ooh, we're hauling, ooh, this is looking promising. How big of a base we, ooh, ah, I don't think we're gonna have to use our C4 at least, but it is protected by level two walls, which is, ooh, and it actually has some chest. Let's go, baby. Let's go for once. This is, a, I, I miss this part of my life choosing and making decisions on which chest to break into. I've totally forgotten what it's like. This is assuming that there's more inside the base, but I think that there will be. But the bunker code, I did not have a chance to showcase it today, but I know, all right? I read those comments every single day. I know that some fan freaking fantastic member of this community has already tossed the updated bunker code down below. And if not, push Pushnevs, you can be the one that is super helpful and super fan freaking fantastic to every single body that watches in this amazing community. So uh, that would be fan freaking fantastic. Go ahead, maybe do that if it's not already down there. And if it is, maybe say, maybe say a bit of a thank you to the fella who did this side to do that and ooh, ooh ooh okay so i was trying to finesse a way into this base with lower level lower level hatchets here's a trick that you guys tell me to do that i will not be able to do because yeah oh no well apparently if i put all ah i mean i could probably put this one away but a little trick is i'm not gonna do it though because we already have i'm not really too worried about making too much noise yeah, we'll be fine. But if you put all of your level two hatchets away and only have level ones, then if you are in an angle like this, you can keep on doing that. And uh, it'll just let you know if you do find a level one hole that might be hidden from plain view. I don't know. What I do know is that I'm going in from the doorway. Police! It's I'm coming for you. I, even though I don't think there's police in the apocalypse, I'm the apocalypse police. Open up. And ooh, hoo, 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 there are a lot of chests from which to choose and a recycler and a little chest by the recycler. This is the type of raid I'm okay with. I love these types of raids, okay? If I miss out on good loot in this type of raid, I am I am literally as cool with that as can be. At that point, that comes down to bad decision making and or bad luck, all right? But I love having to choose between which chest and kind of like, you know, make that conscious decision. Like, ah, maybe it's there, maybe it's there. I only have one shop left, you know? That is what makes raid so magical, and that's why I love freaking ones like this. I I don't know, man. I I just love it. You know, it's kind of like a choose your own adventure, except instead of super happiness, it's just trying to prevent super disappointment. I don't know. I guess if you get lucky enough, it can bring super happiness. This one is on some stone. Ooh, seven red tickets. Hey, 
and another one of those. More chopping power? Happily. I'll take that straight to the- Oh, no, 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 I didn't realize you guys were coming already. I thought I was in the clear because I didn't hear you. Oh, no. Well, luckily, we do have the proper tools and proper machinery to handle such shenanigans. But the question is, which chests are we going to want? I'm definitely breaking into these ones by the ATV. I'm going to do a little alternating fashion here. And, ooh, not looking too promising. Maybe we go and try a new area out. I'm a little bit higher on the areas, like, that are actually within so i do want to break the one by the recycler real quick that might be a good sign because maybe this is a base that doesn't actually go on raids you know because i think everyone's base gets added to the base rating database but i think you will only actually suffer if you go on raids and then the ai re-raids because when i'm rating someone just rating a copy of their base i'm not actually stealing stuff from them at least last i checked maybe that changed with the latest raid update who knows but this could just be someone who doesn't even keep his stuff hidden behind walls because he's not worried about getting re-rated so this might be a great sign of that. If this has something good, we might be on to something. Mm, okay, I was expecting, since it was right by the recycler, I was kind of expecting more recyclable goods. I guess I was wrong in expecting that. Um, Those wall, I mean, those chests on the outside still have some promise. Which one did we break into in here? Oh, we didn't break into anyone. Okay, I'm going to break into this one first, and then we'll break through that one and see if any of these might be a sign of good loot to come. Eh. Not quiet, not the quiet, although we are about- I know what is about to come. It might not be loot, or it might be loot. I'll take that, thank you. Oh, no, I was about to say these guys are definitely coming. Ah, don't hurt me. I'm just a little boy doing raid of big men. All right, okay. No, there's still two of them. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna min-max this right here. Oh, beautiful. A perfect 100 health being restored to yours truly. Uh, this has been a relatively promising corner, though. I think I want to continue chopping down some of the chests that it contains, especially because it's right by those things. Maybe it will contain, I was going to say steel. I have a feeling there might be steel, though. This is where his rarest components are. He does also have his fur stockpiled here. He doesn't have a lot of it, but fur is something you get from the north. And, uh, or you might have just killed some random foxes. Mm. I don't know if I want to keep on looting that corner. Uh, we, we gotta give this one some love, see if maybe this has anything at all within it. Although, I, I don't know, it's surrounded by like a level one. Uh, ooh, that's okay. Uh, 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 uh another, mm, mm. Hold on, really quickly, just for kiting purposes. Can I, ooh, 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 okay, okay. Oh, and I can get the big one stuck in the doghouse too, can I? Where's this guy's doghouse at? Hey, yo, woof, woof, where the pup is at? Okay, we got him right here. So I guess we could do a little bit of kitage and bring him there. All right, all right, all right. Mm. Well, we still got some noise to play with. Uh, I say we continue playing with it, continue breaking through some of these on the interior, and hopefully they will contain some. Uh, it's okay. Oh my God, you guys are coming already. I feel like I, br I just fought you guys one chest ago. Dear mama. We gotta hope for a lucky break though, because uh, we're, listen. I, I got a feeling there's still some good loot somewhere, but there weren't no, like, better chests to use as a telltale sign of that, right? There was no better chest for us to follow or to go after. They all appear to be level one chests, which is a bit worrying for at least my strategizing of them. At least we didn't have to use the C4. We still got that thing saved up. We have absolutely no gas, so we're going to have to freaking bring that thing all the way back. Uh, how many more can we break into before the big one shows his ugly little face? I'm sorry, big one. No, we're BFFs. I wouldn't, I never, I never say something like that about you. Uh, well, did we break through this one? Yeah. Mm. 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 Here's the thing. He doesn't have an advanced furnace, though. And he also, I don't think he's a, yeah, he hasn't completed his chopper. He doesn't have an advanced furnace. So I just don't know if uh, he even has a lot of steel, really. You know, he maybe got some from the events and stuff, but mm, I, I don't know. Cause I was kind of, I wanted to break close to these because I thought there might be steel, but so far, no luck. Why don't we break through the rest of these two though? Might as well see, because this is literally the one place that we don't want to be when the big one shows up because that is this, this is a hallway of doom not happening and i think what we'll do is we'll continue breaking through all the chests in there and so be it if we miss out on something amazing that was just outside sucks man but hey that's the way she goes oh i'll take the oh wait, was that plastic oh dang it never mind i thought that was high tech components i mean it's still okay this is the first time i've ever actually seen plastic i thought that was high tech components though, because i have like two high tech components at home so that actually would have like freaking quintupled our supply of them which would have been pretty hype but no 
it's just plastic which is not as special i mean it's still good we don't have a lot of plastic but i i still can't believe we could actually start getting the stuff man it's, this is the first base we found with plastic so i mean there's a first time for everything we've yet to find a base with turrets i am really hoping that we find a base with turrets that just sounds like a lot of fun man here's what we're gonna do though uh for these next couple of chests we're gonna break into there's always the chance that the big one's gonna pop up i want to be fast i'm gonna leave some empty inventory slots actually wasn't there another chest that had some of those logs or my crate that might be from last raid also because you guys always want me to i'll grab the gold all right a little bit of gold never hurt nobody it only made them very happy because gold is very shiny and a very beautiful thing i don't own any gold myself besides my one gold watch that my great that my grandpapa gave me back in the day and uh yeah that that is about all the gold in my life Maybe there will be more one day, man. Maybe one day I'll be swagged out. I'll be a bajillionaire and like all Gucci gold. Does Gucci do gold? Probably, dude. It's freaking Gucci. I don't know much about him besides the fact that everything costs a lot. Dear God, I don't even want to imagine going into that store, dude. I'd look at the first price tag. I'd have a heart attack. Just be like, how dare ye? I don't know. I do need some flip flops, however. And they do talk about Gucci flip flops in some songs. So... I don't know. I feel like those will probably be the most expensive flip-flops of all time, but hey, man. I don't know. Probably not happening <laughs> now that I think about it. Let's go ahead and soften these three up. Hopefully, the big one doesn't spawn close to us. Let's do that softening. And honestly, ah, we don't have SWAT. If we had SWAT armor, I'd be a lot more willing to do what I'm about to do, too. Uh, but I was going to say maybe break through some of these chests on the outside, but I... We're gonna be lucky to break through some of these and we are getting hungry already. Let's just go ahead. Let's uh, trust the process. What you got for me? What you got for me? Oh man, this was not the process to be trusted, was it? I know, I know, I know. Oh my God, why are you so lackluster, bro? I don't like, I don't like, I don't like. Don't hurt, don't hurt, don't hurt, don't hurt. Oh, move out the way. Move out the way, abomination. This is not what I signed up for. There we go. Let's just start wailing a little bit here. Let's heal up. Oh, no, no, no. Why doesn't it heal, dude? I I clicked the button to heal. Oh, no, 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 no. This should be a pretty easy one to recover because he wasn't doing too much damage yet. But dear mama, dude. Okay, you know what I think it is? I think mid-chop you can't heal. That has to be it because, like, I've healed when I've shot things before. I, that has, oh my god, god, save, saving private star snipe, except private star snipe reincarnate, dear mama, man, oh, I, I brought that upon myself, though, to be completely fair, that, that is all me, and I'm, I'm gonna be a lot more careful, because I, I just feel like we could, we could do that before, but it doesn't seem like it's happening anymore, so, I don't know, ooh, I hope I have a military backpack somewhere, I don't want to craft up one, because I'd rather continue stockpiling that C4 and everything, this is going to be good though, actually putting some quality armor on here, uh, actually we have a lot of like relative, I didn't realize we had all this like relatively good SWAT, where did this come from? Dear God, man, we've actually been doing a pretty all right of armoring up here. This will be good, though, so keep us a little bit safe. I'm going to grab that military backpack and be right back. Actually, here's the thing. We don't need a military backpack because we should just be able to get... And also, does the chopper slab our stuff? Whoa, chopper slabs our stuff. Uh, we should just be able to equip the backpack right away. Even, like, worst case, we'll, like, run away a little bit. We'll be good to go from there after we just kind of, like, take all from his inventory and... Uh, actually, we got to hope that we ooh, we might need to specifically look for the military backpack and hope we don't die in the meantime. And we got to remember. All right. I'm that that is there. I was clicking the button to heal, but I don't know. That's happened a couple of times now. So I seriously think that something has changed. I it what it might be. This is my hypothesis just from like the super quick action that was happening. I haven't had a chance to analyze it in slow motion. Maybe some of you guys have noticed, but I think when you're swinging the hatchet, you're like in that hatchet swinging animation. I don't think that you can heal that or maybe my emulator's just being derpy to be completely honest there's a lot of things that could go into but like yeah i'm clicking r right now you guys see that look at that look at that that's the, that's what i was clicking the entire time so i i don't know broski i don't know por favor give me a little bit of that just uh let's go ahead equip that run away a little bit oh no please don't hurt me a little bit more i know some of you guys say star why don't you try to attack the big one ever why don't you try to take him out guys he is invincible he does take damage i'm getting the hell out of there uh he does take damage but as soon as he gets down to like 200 health he just respawns right now the big one now that he has been removed from the infected forest the only way he can be killed i think is if he randomly attacks you in one of these zones i'm guessing that they will make a boss zone for the big one though and give him a bit of a revamp because the big one was never a ridiculously awesome boss it was just kind of like hey look at me 
I'm Mr. Meeseeks. I got a lot of health. It's, I don't know. Dude, Mr. Meeseeks is hilarious, though. Don't, don't throw shade at Meeseeks, all right? But uh, back to what I was saying. Yeah, he just had a lot of health, and he barely took any damage. That was literally the boss fight. So I'm guessing they might try to revamp him into the style of, like, the blind one and the witch, where he actually has, like, you know, some unique qualities to him. That does make it a little bit on the funner side. And, hey, you're happy with weapon parts? Honestly, then take those three. Have yourself a favorite fantastic day, Raider. Thank you for giving me a quality raid even though the loot wasn't that much better i love those types of raids because i i like making those decisions i think that's that's such a fun part of raiding all right it sucks when you make the wrong one but when you make the right one oh it feels good yeah it feels wonderful but uh, now that i'm gonna stop being a bit of an angry german i'm sorry dude german accents are amazing they're my neighbors i'm polish i don't live in poland but polska they're actually playing right now i gotta go ahead and try to catch that game really quickly we better win Lewandowski for life but that's gonna be sorry wrapping up this episode of last day on earth survival can i wait to hear what you guys got to say regarding my idea with stone walls and that third tier not my idea but i guess it was kind of my idea but it was definitely definitely 100 inspired by that comment i did show off a little bit earlier so go ahead and let me know in that comment section down below cannot wait to hear that best of luck in the giveaway best look at the chopping gas tank enjoyed it the chop the squadron best look breeded your puffs leveled up your perks protected your base going on raids whether they be your own or the type of the revenge variety best of luck defeating the witch getting past the multiplayer wall and most important of all having yourselves an absolutely fan for fantastic day but that's gonna do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves an awesome one i'll talk to you next one see ya